I had, I had started losing a lot of blood mm-hmm. and I started to, uh, uh, my body started to just, it was just freaking out. And I remember, uh, kind of, uh, thinking to myself, is this it? Is, is this how it's going to go out? Is this how I'm going to go out? I'm going to bleed out right here. And, uh, somebody was yelling, Hey, we got an arterial bleed. We got an arterial bleed. And that's when I I was like, this is really, really bad. And so I'm looking at, um, my, my buddy in my unit, uh, and I'm telling him, Hey, tell, tell Kelsey, my wife, tell Kelsey, I'm sorry. Um, tell her that I love her. Um, tell my family, I love them. And he was just like, stop saying that stuff. And I was like, no, no. He's like, you're going to be, you're going to be okay. It's just a, it's just a flesh wound. You're going to be okay. And I was like, no, this is important. I need you to tell him that. Okay. Just in case. And, uh, he, you know, he's kept telling me you're going to be good. You're going to be good. Um, the best way, I don't know how else to describe it, but I could feel the life draining from my body physically. I could physically feel my life leaving. And that was a really scary thought or a scary feeling. Um, it scared me for a number of reasons. One, obviously I, I didn't want to die. Um, two, uh, my kids, um, I c- couldn't think I, I didn't want to have the thought of them being raised without me or by someone else, you know, years later or whatever the case was. I just, especially, you know, how young they were. And I just, it just was killing me to think like that. And then, and obviously Kelsey leaving her behind and, um, it just, it was a, it was a really scary thought. And then I, I just, I had to snap out of it and I had to just control my breathing and, uh, fight through that, fight through those thoughts, fight through those, uh, fight, fight through the pain and just stay conscious as best I could. 